Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. So today I'll be showing you guys how you can use a VPN to both access Polymarket as well as protect your crypto wallets and cryptocurrencies from cyber threats. So if you're not sure which VPN you should go for, I'll also give you guys my personal recommendations and go over what they have to offer in terms of features and budgets a little later on in the video. So stay tuned. But of course, if you just wanna check out these VPNs for yourself, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. All right, so Polymarket is one of the biggest online betting platforms where you can wager your money on real life events, be it political, social, or even natural events like weather forecasts. And uh, despite it being available in most countries around the world, a lot of governments are still trying to regulate gambling in online casino websites, you know? So there is a chance that if you invest some of your money on Polymarket, then the next day the platform becomes completely inaccessible. To give you an example, earlier in November, France's gambling authority was reportedly planning on banning the prediction platform. And so if you live in a country where Polymarket is inaccessible, all you need to do here is use a VPN to geospoof your location to where Polymarket is available and you'll regain your access to the platform. As simple as that. So that being said, most of these prediction and gambling websites have started implementing advanced firewalls that can stop encrypted VPN traffic from accessing their services. Now, Polymarket is way easier to access with a VPN than the likes of FanDuel, for example, but it won't be long before it probably follows suit. So that's why you're going to need a VPN with the proper obfuscation technology that can hide the fact that you're using a VPN by making your internet traffic look completely normal. So by doing this, you'll walk past those firewalls with no issue and you'd be able to use the platform to its fullest. Now, the three VPNs I recommend the most are gonna be ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Not only do they have the obfuscated service we talked about, but they also have strict no logs policies that have been audited by several independent firms like KPMG, PricewaterhouseCoopers, Cure53. So I would say that they're the most secure VPNs on the market. And that's something you're also gonna need because polymarket predictions are paid through USDC from crypto wallets like MetaMask and Phantom. So it's always recommended to use VPNs while accessing crypto wallets anyway to make sure that your activity remains anonymous and that no one can snoop on your network and get a hold of your credentials or trades. So these three VPNs, Express Nord and Surfshark, they're the best when it comes to accessing Polymarket and making sure your activity there is completely anonymous and secure. Now, before I go over what these three VPNs have to offer in terms of features and budget, let me quickly show you how to connect to a VPN server in order to access Polymarket. So the process goes the same for all three of these VPNs, but I'm going to use Express here as it's my favorite, easiest to use, and most secure VPN for pretty much anything. So if we look at the IP finder right here, it says I'm located in France where Polymarket is soon to be banned. So in case this ban is set in motion, all you really need to do here is boot up ExpressVPN, click on this menu icon on the top left, click on VPN locations, and type the name of the country closest to you that has access to the platform. So the reason why we're picking the closest country is because generally when it comes to VPNs, the closer you are to the VPN, the faster your speed is gonna be. So in my case, the closest country to me is Germany. So I'll just go ahead and type Germany and I'll click on one of the servers here that pops up and press the on button to connect. And now that I'm connected, I'll go ahead to Polymarket, just quickly refresh it and that's it. So this is how you gain access to the website. And if we go to the IP finder again and refresh it, as you can see, it says that I have a German IP address. So that's really all there is to it, to use a VPN with Polymarket. But before I end this video, let me just quickly go over each of these three VPNs to help you choose which one works best for you. So all of them are very fast. They have audited no logs policies plenty of obfuscated servers and all the necessary security features like the kill switch. But of course, they vary in what they have to offer, like in terms of budget and bonus features. So let me briefly talk about that so you can pick the VPN that you'd like. So starting with ExpressVPN, this is the best performing and easiest to use and most secure VPN on this list. Like it has the most verified no logs policies due to an incident back in 2017 where the Turkish government actually sees one of their servers as part of an investigation and they didn't find anything on that server. Express is also the fastest when it comes to connecting and disconnecting from servers. And while other VPNs, like they can take a few seconds, you saw Express did it in a second. So personally speaking, this responsiveness is why I consider Express to be my personal go-to because it feels like it's part of your computer in a third-party application. As far as servers go, Express has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries and this huge amount of locations gives you access to a lot of global content. So it's great. But overall, Express is the best choice if you're looking for an easy to use plug and play VPN 
again because it stays away from the more advanced settings that might not interest most beginner and uh, intermediate users. Like you just open the app, connect to a server and that's it. Now it might not have a lot of bonus features like specialty servers and mesh net, but it does have all the essentials like a kill switch, plenty of servers that are optimized for all uses instead of specialty servers. It has split tunneling and top of line protocols. Not to mention that very recently ExpressVPN also launched their identity defender, which tracks your ID and social security number for fraud and guides you through the next step. So they help in case of identity theft and they have a data removal service where they can wipe out your information from any people search websites or data broker databases. Just keep in mind though, it's only for US users at the moment, but they plan on expanding it to more countries and users. So overall, Express is a high performance VPN with a strong emphasis on security as well as ease of use. And I definitely would recommend it if you're a privacy conscious individual. So next up, we have Nord. This is going to be the fastest, most valuable VPN on this list because when it comes to speed, Nord is the fastest out of the three VPNs thanks to its Nordlings protocol, which makes it a very good option for streaming, gaming, and torrenting. And it also has the largest list of countries out of all three of these VPNs with 111 countries and 6,700 servers. So that gives you access to a lot of content again. Besides that, you'll also get a lot of bonus features like an app kill switch on top of the conventional kill switch, threat protection that blocks ads and malware, and a bunch of specialty servers like Onion over VPN, Double VPN, and peer-to-peer -peer servers. And similar to Express, Nord has also launched their identity protection feature very recently, which functions pretty similar to Express, but you also get the cyber extortion protection as well as expert advice for these sorts of situations. So it's a little bit more fleshed out than Express VPN. So if if you're looking for, say, the fastest, best value VPN that has a lot of bonus features and options that you don't get with most VPNs, then go with Nord. And lastly, we have Surfshark. So this is going to be the best budget option out of the three. Despite being so affordable, though, Surfshark doesn't sacrifice or cut corners on security performance. And it even offers a bunch of bonus features like specialty servers, web protection, and an ad blocker. And maybe it's not as fast as Norden Express, but it's still really fast and outperforms most VPNs on the market anyway. So on top of that, Surfshark also allows you to have as many devices as you want with one subscription. So Nord allows 10 and Express allows eight devices. So Surfshark is basically the best option if you're looking for like a fast, low budget VPN that gets the job done at the best possible cost without sacrificing security or any important features and that you can share it with as many friends and family as you want. So that's all for today's video. I hope you found something useful out of that. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to check those links out in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible and check out the full reviews as well if you want to know more about these VPNs. But otherwise, like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.